Well, now that that disaster is out of the way, uh, the internal memory of the camera ran out, so I had to go upload uh, videos and clean the memory out. I was in the process of finishing this up. I was just remarking that if in 50 years these boxes were still around, that would be a testament to... just what a great design this is and or just what a great guy I am at building something that would last <coughs> that long. <coughs> now, I've got the last screw yet to go in. I'm going to do that right now. And then we're going to put the handle in. And guess what? We will be done with the classic tool box. Okay, so the box itself is now assembled. And as you can see, all of our sides pretty much fit. I can run this through the sander if I wanted to. We're now ready for the handle. I have already pre-cut the handle uh, off camera. Now it's just a matter of putting it through and getting it to line up. The handles are not quite perfectly straight, but that's fine. Let's take that around and there we go. I can take some sandpaper and sand that off. The last thing that I do is the only nails that I will use in here, I will use two small finishing nails to hold the handle into place. I'm going to take my finishing nail tap that in take my finishing nail tap that in and the classic toolbox what was about an hour ago just one piece of wood is now classic toolbox that I can take and use as a holder for screws or whatever else I want to do. Now, if I wanted to, I could take a set. I'm going to use this screw right here. And I can set this nail. There we go. Just a little bit deeper into the wood. So it's flush, then when I do any other sanding, I'll take that and smooth that right out. So here you have it, classic toolbox. I've got the long one that I'll use for tools. I have the shorty here I'm going to use for the fasteners. Don't be afraid to build something if you need it. Here you go, just like that. Have a great day.